Good morning, guys. It's Angel here. What you see in this video clip, guys, is Israel under attack. Did I not just have a dream about a BOMB happening and everything was destroyed? The land was completely destroyed. And the Lord instructed me to leave that land and go to the land he was ordering me to go to to help rebuild. I remember this rumbling happening, okay? My house started shaking. I looked outside and I saw this cloud of smoke. It looked like an atomic BOMB. I don't wanna get any offenses here on this platform, but when I looked outside, like I said, it looked like a BOMB happened um, and it was smoke everywhere. And across the street, everything was completely demolished. I woke up and I prayed. I said, Lord, I need you to give me clarity. So he sent me to Revelation 3. He sent me to Revelation 3 and he told me verse 7 and 8. And it reads, write this letter to the angel of the church in Philadelphia. This is the message from the one who is holy and true. The one who has the key of David, what he opens, no one can close. And what he closes, no one can open. I know all the things you do. And I have opened a door for you that no one can close. You have little strength, yet you obeyed my word and did not deny me. Look, I will force those who belong to Satan's synagogue, those liars who say they are Jews but are not, to come and bow down at your feet. They will acknowledge that you are the ones I love. He urged my spirit to continue. Because you have obeyed my command to preserve, I will protect you from the great times of testing that will come upon the whole world to test those who belong to this world. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so no one will take away your crown. All who are victorious will become pillars in the temple of my God and they will never have to leave it. And I will write on them the name of God. And they will be the citizens in the city of my God. The new Jerusalem that comes down from heaven from my God. And I will also write on them my new name. Anyone who has ears to hear must listen to the spirit and understand what he is saying to the church. Israel is under attack right now. And we know the scripture says the Lord is Israel's defender. God is defending Israel. But we also know prophecy must be fulfilled. It won't be long. These are the signs, guys. You can no longer ignore it. We are in the last days for real. You can feel it. A lot of you all are sensitive in the spirit. You can feel it. The Lord is really putting us on post. And I'm just trying to prepare for what's happening. That is why my focus, guys, has been being a watchman, being in position, you know, because the Lord has been telling me consistently, I am coming. You know, I've been seeing 212 everywhere. I didn't know what that was about. And I prayed about it. And I looked up scripture, so many different scriptures with 212. And I'm like, Lord, I need you to make it plain. And I saw a sister in Christ, um, her video popped up and just so happens the time frame was 212. That sister in Christ was wearing a shirt that said Revelations 22 verse 12. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is me to give every man according as his work shall be. Guys, you can continue on and read that scripture. It is Revelation 22, verse 12 on down, pretty much to summarize everything. He's coming. To sum it up, he is coming. And um, 
to go back to that dream that I had, guys. Remember, I told you after I had that dream, he sent me to the scripture where he was discussing um, rebuilding the new Jerusalem after judgment. I say that to say, guys, when you see these things happening, they are not happenstance. This is the Lord talking to you. Okay. This is the Lord giving you clear indication what season we are in. When you hear his watchman on the wall, his prophets speaking, he uses them for a reason. And we're in a time where he's going to pour out his spirit on everyone. And we're all going to be seeing these, these signs. Okay? Because we are in the hour. He is preparing his children for the second coming. He is preparing his children for the second coming, guys. He has been telling me over and over, I'm coming. Guys, he's literally preparing the new Jerusalem right now. He's rebuilding it. Guys, we need to be preparing for that second coming. Revelation 21, 2 tells us that the new Jerusalem is prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Verses 9 through 10 say the bride, the wife of the lamb, is the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. Guys, we are the bride preparing for our groom, which is the Lord, guys. We are in preparation for our groom. This is very dangerous for the United States. Our country's former UN ambassador... The water change and turn red blood in a Pope Maria Tonya. Look how it turn red blood. And everybody come and test the water and then can't find a way to eat. What's it? A sign I show you. Know? Scientists come come test the water and you know what makes it so red. And then say it to get redder. You see it? Look over yourself. Show no can't see the road. And then a joke thing, God, you think God is easy? See there? See? See there?
teléfono. Judgment trumpet. 